Hi everyone, we need one more lemma before we can prove the strong low flash numbers. This is going to be of very probabilistic nature. Lemma. Take any non-negative random variable and look at the sum of the tail probability probability x is larger than or equal to n. This gives you a lower bound of the expectation of your random variable, but not much lower, because if I add 1 and the same sum of the probabilities, that gives you an upper bound of the same expectation. That's the lemma. Okay, Let's prove this. Proof is uh, not hard. So in order to prove this, I'm going to need something the uh, something called the floor or lower integer part of a number that is denoted by this symbol here. And the lower integer part of a number is the largest integer that does not exceed my number. So the lower integer part of two is two. The lower integer part of pi is 3. The largest integer that's not bigger than my number. And with this quantity or this object, I'm going to start looking at my left hand side. So take the probability that x is larger than or equal to n. x is any random variable. It could be integer or non-integer. Only thing I need is it non it's not negative. So I'm going to say the following. Uh, x is any real number, could be integer or no integer, n is an integer. So x, my real number, is at least n exactly when its lower integer part or floor is at least n. Convince yourself that the real number is at least as large as an integer n exactly when its integer part, lower integer part, is at least as large as n. Now, this guy here, integer part of x, is an integer valued random variable. So it's integer valued. And then a simple exercise in probability 1, that for integer, random, integer valued random variables, this expression here actually does give you the expectation of your random variable. So looking at the lower integer part of x, if you take the sum of probability this random variable is larger than or equal to n, it does give you the expectation of this random variable, which is lower integer part x. Okay, this is a simple exercise in probability 1. Probe 1 exercise. And to do that, I'm not going to do this, but to do that, what you can do is look at this probability x at least n as an infinite sum of probabilities of, of mass functions, actually probability x equals to k, starting from n to infinity and swap the two sums, and you easily see that this is, this is the case. Now, one obvious feature of lower integer parts is that they are never larger than the variable itself, and therefore what I have so far is a lower bound on the expectation, which immediately proves one half of my statement. And then another obvious feature of the lower integer part is that it's never less than my original value minus 1. Okay, So the integer part, if I look at the integer part of x, this is true without expectation. The integer part of x plus 1 will always give me an upper bound on x. And therefore it holds through the expectation as well. Okay, and what is this object here? Well, that's of course the sum of the tail probability, exactly the same way as before. Expectation of x floor is the sum of the tail probability, is the same as the previous line, plus this extra one on the right hand side, and that's how I get my right hand side for the uh, initial statement of the lemma. So that's the proof of this number.